Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most amazing Tuesday. If this is your first time on my channel, girl, let me introduce myself. My name is Sebastian. I do videos every single day. Pop culture, tea, YouTube drama, all of it, bitch. So make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to be part of that family and make my dreams come true. Oh no, that's wish. No, wait. Make my dream come true. Girl, Christmas time, I can remember the whole I want for Christmas. But throughout the year, I don't remember the words. Wait. Make my wish. Oh, it's wish come true. Anyways, grab a snack and a drink because we have some breaking tea and when i tell you it's it's tea it's tea listen i went and i was like how can i deliver the tea what can i wear you know girl i just woke up so i was like let me put on something black because courtney and travis love black and she always uses like really small glasses but bitch i don't have small glasses so this will have to do courtney kardashian and travis barker are married married they tied the can you imagine i just saying the whole fucking tea they tied the knot uh after the grammys so the grammys was on sunday around 1 30 a.m they went into the little white chapel in las vegas and bitch they got married um so according to sources um they went in there they had their own photographer girl courtney kardashian said no bitch i'm not having this chapel take my you know picture and then post it everywhere so they had their own photographer um something interesting that tmz is reporting is says um they so first it was like you know there's like i guess a rule in wedding chapels like if you don't have a wedding license you cannot get married so everyone assumed they had a married license but sources told tmz that they did not have a marriage license and they were just doing this for fun. So this sounds to me, this 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 just has Kris Jenner written all over it, bitch. You know what I mean? This has Kris Jenner written all over it. Um, since they did have their own photographer, they probably had like a lot of phone cameras. So this does sound like a very keeping up with the Kardashians um, season finale type episode. You know what I mean? But you know, Courtney actually back, back, back in the day, I think in season one, she and her family went to Vegas. I don't remember for what, maybe like a club appearance. And Courtney told Chris that she just wanted to tie the knot with Scott Disick at the White Chapel in Vegas. But Chris Jenner did not let her because Bruce Jenner back then wanted to walk her down the aisle. Her sisters was in there. So she convinced Courtney not to do it. But this time, Courtney said, I'm doing it, right? Um, I really love Courtney and Travis together. I think, you know, I think the Kardashians, they go through these like sort of, um, highs and lows personality wise. So Kim Kardashian started off very like Barbie and like perfect. Then she went into snob mode and then now she's trying to be relatable, laid back and chill. Chloe, I feel like has, you know, she she started off being everyone's favorite. Then I guess you know she got she got a little bit on the snobby side, but still fun. But you know just like sort of ups and downs. And sometimes she's still relatable, but sometimes she's not. I mean, when Kim Kardashian is you know more relatable than Chloe, Chloe's going through something, right? But Courtney Kardashian, in my book and in my idea, and I've watched every season. I feel like she has stayed the same. I feel like Courtney Kardashian has stayed the same bitchy, funny, um, you know, snobby, mean, arrogant, hilarious, you know, bitch. You know what I mean? She says it herself, like she's the bitch of the family and I am so here for it. You know, she's, she, I really feel like she hasn't let fame, money get to her because I feel like she's always been this way. Um, now she just can afford better, you know, better things. Um, but you know, I, and, and Travis, you know, I really feel like every time I've seen him, he's just so, he seems so sweet and down to earth and just like, so, uh, you know, it's great to keep Kourtney Kardashian, you know, like leveled, right? Because like, you know, the Kardashians are bigger, you know, they're very big, they're larger than life. And it's just so cool to see 
them together. And I, I just, I love, 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 love Courtney and Travis together. And I hope that, you know, they last, you know, they are saying, of course, that there's going to be multiple events and weddings. Um, but for now, this was like something they did. But girl, again, this has Kris Jenner written all over it. And you know damn well it does. Kris Jenner knows exactly what to do when, 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 now Hulu, when Hulu's calling her and says, girl, we need a season finale. She's like, okay, bitch, when, which, which one of you guys want to get married or pregnant or which one do you want to be, you know, cheated on? Oh, that was mean, right? That was, that was, that was maybe overboard, but I just woke up. So sue me, bitch. Um, I don't know. I, I love it. You know, that's, I've been married for going on seven years and I, you know, we, we didn't have a big wedding because we frankly could not afford it. Um, so we went into the courthouse and we went then to brunch, got drunk, threw up all over, but it was, you know, it was, it was amazing. Um, but we've always wanted, you know, when we could afford to do like a bigger wedding because a lot of our family and friends couldn't come because, you know, we didn't have the room, whatever. But I always thought it, you know, in back of my head, I was like, it would just be so cool if like you can just go to Las Vegas, get married. Oh yeah, they got married uh, by Elvis, impersonator. Um, but, oh girl, back in the day, gays couldn't get married, right? Could they get married in Vegas? I don't remember. Um, but anyways, besides the point, I think it's a fun idea. You know, like you're, you're, you're having fun, you're in love, you're just like, fuck it, let's just get married. Like, why not, right? I'm so happy for Courtney. I think, you know, her and Scott just, you know, if you watch the Kardashians, you know that they've gone through so many ups and downs. And it was mainly because Scott's addiction issues. Um, and, you know, Courtney really, really, I feel like she really stuck by his side. Uh, she, you know, she, of course, set her boundaries and, and you know, set her, her, her tone of how she wants to co-parent. And if he didn't and couldn't, um, you know, be the best version of himself for his children, she made sure she was heard, you know, and, and I feel like the Kardashians have so many issues with men and it, Courtney seems to be the one who, 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 who sort of like, you know, she had Scott and then she dated this like billionaire. I don't remember what he was or bass. I can't remember what he was, but he was so fucking sexy. And now, uh, now Travis and like, I mean, you would never think Courtney and Travis, right? But it just fits, and I think Courtney really, like I said before, has maintained a wonderful uh, level mind to herself. She puts her kids first, and she still has a great relationship with Scott for the kids, even though you know she doesn't agree with a lot of things that he does or, or says. But she's, you know, I don't know if she's legally married now because you know there's rumors like there was a wedding license, there wasn't a wedding license, but we'll see. But anyways, for now, I'm just so happy for Courtney. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you get married in a white chapel in Vegas after a fun night out? Let me know in the comments. And are you happy for Courtney and Travis? And who is your favorite Kardashian? I would have to say my favorite Kardashian went from Chloe to Courtney to Kim back to Courtney. And I'm there right now. I'm there right now. Who is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. I am so thankful and grateful for you. I'm about to go to the 99 cent store, honey, because I need to buy um, Saril Foam. Is that what you know, the plastic wrap? Because I want to wrap it in my tummy. I saw a video on TikTok that it helps you sweat a lot. So if you have any tips, on uh, how to, uh, you know, get a little more, um, I wanna get more little slim thick, let me know in the comments below. Uh, any tricks, tips, homemade goods, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.